Life in a world that keeps changing Think that it's progress you're making Copy and paste pretty faces All the time Pictures so perfect we play Hello everyone, welcome to Anointed Lady TV, the home of news and politics. If it is your first time in this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you like what we do on this channel, hit on the subscribe button. Also put on the notification bell so you'll be notified by YouTube anytime we drop a new video. And if you are returning subscribers, thank you very much for always coming back to watch our videos. On this platform, we drop videos every day and we react to every video that come our way. And on this very video, I will be watching with you. And after watching, let's go to the comment section and drop our opinion constructively. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. See you next time in my name. BBC investigation has found evidence suggesting some result from Nigeria's presidential election may have been manipulated. The winner, Boda Tinumbu, is due to be inaugurated on 29th of May, but the opposition is challenging this. The BBC has uncovered significant anomalies in River State, a key battleground, although not sufficient to change the overall national outcome of the election, which took place in February. There are also questions over the identity of an election official who read out some of the unexplained results. On 25th of February, Nigerians cast their votes at thousands of polling stations across the country. At each polling station, the votes for the party of each candidate were publicly announced and the results sheets taken for condition first at the world level, then at the local government level centers. And election officials from each local government then travel to the state capital where these results were officially declared. For the first time in a Nigerian election, photographs of the polling station results sheets were published online by the Electoral Commission. This made it possible to add up all the polling station sheets and to compare them with the results declared at the state level. Now, the next paragraph says, we found in River State. What we found in River State. We added up the voting tally sheets from over 6,000 polling stations in River State, where many of the opposition complaints have been made. Why the official result in this state gave a clear majority to Bonda Tinumbu of the ruling of Progressive Congress APC. Our tally suggests that P2B of the Labour Party had actually received most votes in the state by a wide margin. Now, you can see this um, picture on the screen. It shows that BBC count of polling station that will be won above 200,000 winning Tinumbu on these rivers. But when the election result was announced, Peter B's vote was suppressed. So what really happened? What magic? What really happened? So that is what this picture from BBC is explaining. Now, let me continue to read the article. It said, we found an increase just over 106,000 in Mr. Tinumbu's vote in the official declaration when compared with our police station tally, almost doubling his total votes in the state. Now, in contrast, Mr. Pitobi's vote had fallen by 50,000. It is important to make clear that although we searched through the election website for every single one of the 6,866 polling stations in River State, we were not able to obtain results from all of them. Some were incorrectly uploaded, others were missing even after a month from the date of the polling. For about 5% of polling stations, the photos of tally sheets were too blurred for us to read. It is reasonable to assume that the official count would have concluded this as they would have had original documents. In other 17%, there were no results at all. Many of these would have been places where no voting took place due to security issues or the non-arrival voting material or that had technical problems preventing officials uploading the documents. So, there clearly would have been more police stations including in the final official result that weren't included in the BBC investigation. However, 
these additional tadeshis will have been increased, the total for each party not decreased them. And what we found was that the votes of the Tobis Labour Party has decreased sharply in River State. So, how can the sharp fall in votes for P2B in the official result be explained? This is the BBC article. Now, this happens just after 24 hours. The United States government placed visa ban on so many governors. I learned that three governors were included in the visa ban, including Wiki and San Mondo. But the U.S. has not official, officially released the names of these people. But this is what I heard from this speculation, though, from somebody who is close to um, this, um, this uh, news source. Now, the importance of all this investigation is this. Number one, it is going to help the tribunal not to be fearful. You know, sometimes Nigerian um, judiciary, they have fears in their mind because politicians threaten them. They might feel that if I announce this result, I don't really know what is going to happen tomorrow. They might come after me. Just imagine how they suspended former chief justice of Nigeria for no reason. These are the fears of judiciary. But when U.S. have taken step to place visa ban on those who perpetrated these crimes, it means, yes, the world knows that there was a crime. That is number one. Then secondly, now that the BBC have published this report, it shows that this evidence that the Labour Party is pre presenting before the court, the world already knows about it. The world already knows that they will have voter suppression and electoral practices that Peter B's vote was decreased and it was added to Tinubu's vote. How can they explain this? But there is, there is another one that is making me go mad and that is somebody that announced the reverse state election result was not an annex staff. It was not a lecturer, neither a professor, nor an annex staff. So how come? What happens? Which kind of magic did uh, Wiki perform? What went wrong? These are the issues we are talking about. There is something going on in Nigeria. And a very, very great thing is about to happen in Nigeria. So this publication of BBC took place barely after 30 hours, Baba Dati Ahmed traveled to London. He participated in one of the programs they had in London. I saw the video. But people might not be seeing what P2B and Dati Ahmed is doing recently. But let me tell you, a great Nigeria is possible. I have seen a politician that you cannot rig a nation on and score free. And that is Obi Dati. You cannot rig a nation against P2B and Baba Dati Ahmed and just score free like that. These people are not violent in their nature. These people have never called out people and say, let us hit the street, let us go to the street, let us go and protest, let us go and do this, let us go and do that. No. These people are silently working out the modernities. According to Mr. Pitobi, he says, we want the election and we are going to prove it. I love this man. Exceptionally, see, by this result, including the alterations in Lagos State, that Pitobi had almost one million votes, including the alterations in Taraba State, and so many other states, let me tell you, the victory is sure for P2B. I don't know about this inauguration, a lot of people have been pushing not to hold this inauguration, but this inauguration might likely take place, that is a part. But the truth is this, either this inauguration hold or not, Tinubu will never survive this court case. There is no possibility, come on. The evidence is huge. We are talking about, Tinubu did not score the lawful valid votes. I mean, he did not score it. He don't have the lawful highest vote. That is number one. And that is enough to overturn this election. Number two, he did not win Abuja. He did not have 25% in Abuja. So, that one alone is also enough to overturn the election. Come to talk about his own character and his vice presidential character, the dual nationality, and so many things. Come on. We are looking up to the judiciary because we know that something big is coming. Something is about to happen. So all this report is going to help aiding judiciary not to have fear in dispensing judgment in next few days to come. My name is Okocha Api Marcel.
and gentlemen, good day, my brothers and sisters, my mommies and my daddies over there. Is your sister again, your doctor, your friend, your girl, admitted Lady TV? Please, if today is your first time of coming across my YouTube channel, please do subscribe for me. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So each time I upload any video, you will be notified. So in this my channel, I will be bringing up many things to you in which you will benefit from it. I do talk show, I do news, anything you want to talk about, I am into it. Please subscribe, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So each time I upload any video or each time I'm on live on YouTube, you will be notified. Thank you very much for always being there for me. Please do subscribe for me and as you do so, God will richly bless you and meet your heart desire. Thank you very much. I love you all. Ladies and gentlemen, good day my brothers and sisters, my mommies and my daddies over there. Is your sister again, your doctor, your friend, your girl, admitted Lady TV? Please, if today is your first time of coming across my YouTube channel, please do subscribe for me. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So each time I upload any video, you will be notified. So in this my channel, I will be bringing up many things to you in which you will benefit from it. I do talk show, I do news, anything you want to talk about. I am into it. Please subscribe, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. So each time I upload any video or each time I'm on live on YouTube, you will be notified. Thank you very much for always being there for me. Please do subscribe for me, and as you do so, God will richly bless you and meet your heart desire. Thank you very much. I love you all.